Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome Super C motorhome that gives you 4x4, outside kitchen, and has bunk beds. This is the all new 2022 Door Magnitude Model RS36. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Magnitude and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again. Today I am super excited to be showing you this awesome Magnitude. It's now made on the F600 chassis. Previous year it was the F550, so there's a lot of improvements there. Super excited to show everybody, but before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everyone! How's it going today? It's going good, you guys. It's lovely here. I love the weather here in Texas. It's super, super hot. Yes! <laughs> there's no cover. Yes! Yeah, it's great. I always wear sunscreen here. Um, guys, if you haven't gotten a chance, get one of our t-shirts. Limited edition, give me porcelain or give me death. There's just a few days left. Yes, click that link down below or you can go to our website. And yeah, um, it's limited edition, so make sure you get one. Andrea, I'm super excited to show everybody this unit. Let's begin. Model is RS36 Magnitude. The actual tip tip length is 37 feet, nine inches. This is the Magnitude, it has a 6.7 liter V8 turbo diesel. That's 330 horsepower with 825 pound-feet of torque. Wow. And Andrea, they upgraded it from the 550 to the F600 series. It looks the same. What it's gonna do is give you better cargo carrying capacity and you're now able to get four by four on the longer motorhomes. I love that. I love this front grill design. I think it looks great. It's Ford, it's badass. And then everything that we're saying, the 6.7, four by four, you got all that labeling and badging right there. Look at these tires, they're even hand cooks. Dyna Pro. I don't think so. No? They're hand cooks. Okay. They're smart flex. They're the smart flex. Yeah, let's do that again, Andrea. Look at these tires, they're even hand cooks. Smart flex. AH35. The model on the tire is 245-70R19.5. They're changing the tires on us, Andrea. I thought they were 22.5s. No, 19.5s on oh. this. Oh. Which is very good. Right here, we do got mirrors on both sides, extended out. Look at that paint job. Nice running board right there. We do got some storage right here in the door. As Andrea said, beautiful paint job. And I totally forgot to mention, Andrea, look at this bunk over the cab right here. Andrea, come back up here. I'm sorry, that's my fault. We have an awesome windshield right up there. And look how there's no seams in that front cap. It's absolutely amazing. Coming on down the side here, here is where your cameras are. You got a camera on the left side, right side, and reverse side. And then check out this storage. Very nice. I love the way the doors open up like that. It does have frameless windows because it's a Thor. It's 12 year warranty, six year structural. And then look at that awning. Very nice power awning with LED light. It's an armless awning with wind sensor. So if the wind blows too hard, that awning, you know it, it will automatically come back in. Right there, we got TV on the outside, propane on the outside, and then right here, Andrea, bing! That's all the specs so everybody can see who's watching on television. Coming on down the side here. We do got nice storage right there. Okay, over here, very nice outside kitchen. Nice hot point refrigerator, sink right there, a little bit of storage right there. It's a quick propane, quick connect if you want to have a grill on the outside, and just a little bit of storage. And Andrea, look right there. That's a potable water fill. Potable, potable. Yes, ma'am. And then coming around the back, it's a nice fiberglass rear cap. Coming around the back, Andrea. 12,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 12,000 pounds. Always know before you tow though, if you overload it, you might be pushing the boundaries. Uh, nice fiberglass rear cap. Magnitude, you got your backup camera there. A nice ladder to get up on the roof, but Andrea. You know we walk through TSA. 
with our U-step ladder, didn't we? Yes. So let's go up there on the roof. Yes, guys, we don't leave home without it. Yes. I actually take this to Tijuana Flats with me. You know what, Matt? I believe you. <laughs> you ready? All right, safety's first. Hold on. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Solar panel there on the roof. Wine guard digital antenna and Max Air fan cover right there. All right, hold on. I got it. Okay, hold on, be careful. Here we go now. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. How do you think, what do you think about that, Andrea? I think you steps is awesome. I think it's 112 degrees outside. And if you haven't already smashed that thumbs up button, make sure you do it. Thanks, America. Right over here. We do got storage right here. 50 amp power connection right there. That's where you fill up your diesel. Storage right there. Okay. Very nice. City water connection, Miss Andrea. Oh, they got one of, okay. That's the wet bay, but I like the doors on the wet bay. Yeah. Pretty crummy wet bay though, but yeah. um, outdoor shower, this is where you dump your tanks and everything. And then over there is the water heater. Andrea, this is the instant hot tankless water heater. I love that and I love how they um, continue the paint job over that. What say you? Yes, it looks great actually. Yes. And then right here, Andre, is an Onan 6000 diesel generator. And then here's just a little bit more storage. Okay. Andrea, it's hot. Do you want to do the outside again? Sure, why not? I'm just kidding. The outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Andrea, let's go take a look. It's hot outside. Okay, get the cargo carrying capacity. Look at this. Wow. Look at this good walkway, everyone. Coming through here, no problem at all. You can definitely open the fridge. You can definitely use the bathroom. There's the bunks. And you can use the bed with the slide in. Great, right, cargo carrying capacity is 3,487 pounds. And that's a really good cargo carrying capacity because of that F600 chassis. Andre, it's super hot today. So we're gonna take a minute to cool off as we get the slide outs out. Let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, RV Life. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip like fuel, rest stops, brake areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Wow, look at this. Mm -hmm. This is really spacious. Andrea, this is trucking without trucking. Come on up here and uh, drop down to the F600 chassis. So first and foremost, Andre, I want you to look at this. This has the new digital dash up there. It's telling you this person was getting 10.2 oh. miles a gallon on the way here, 90 miles to empty, very nice steering wheel, very big cockpit area. It feels, it resembles the F series of truck lines, Andrea. Look at how much leg space you have. I do. I have. I'm actually surprised. Not know. only that. Look at what you got up here: cigarette lighter oh, and electrical outlet. Yes, wow. while you're driving. Andrea, look how much leg space. I can't even touch the pet while I could, but I could not drive this right now because I'm too far back. So imagine if you're somebody like Will size, this is the cockpit chassis for you. You got three seats here. Three you cup can holders see your there. Cameras. Did I say seats? Yes. Andrea, <laughs> I did not. I did not mean seats. I meant couple. We know orders. what you meant. Yes, right there. We got your cameras, left side, right side, and reverse side. 
this is all very, very nice up here. How do you feel up here? I like it. I'm actually really comfortable. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is just like having to get down and then climb back out. Oh yeah. And we'll touch on that a little bit later. But then we do have this awesome, I got gotcha. you. Oh. There you go. We do have this awesome bunk over the cab. Now, Andrea, I really, really love this. Do you know why? It is the one of the best bunk over the cabs. Yeah, you think I can jump up there? No, I wouldn't with your ankle. Oh, I could though. It does have a ladder, you guys. And look at all that height right there. I mean, an adult could sleep comfortably up there and not have to really worry about, you know, bumping your head. Right. And that's something that I wanted to demonstrate up here, Andre. Look at this. I so mean, one, yeah. you got this. You got the blue lights, so I feel like I'm in a nightclub, right? And like in our motor home, if I'm sleeping like this, and if I have to sit up fast, boom, I'm hitting the ceiling. Where in this, look at this. I got plenty of head height here. I'm not hitting the ceiling. You got the TV up here and everything. Not it to is, mention what's behind you. What's that? That nice windshield. Oh yeah. And there is cup holders back there as well. Now this bunk over the cab holds 500 pounds. Yes, ma'am. So that's a good amount. And it's one of the biggest and best ones in the industry. It has a privacy curtain there. And that does that shade, you know, that does go up and down so you can close off the sun if you need to. Nice cabinetry above the sofa here. Thor. I like the color. Yes. I'm gonna start calling it Thor Gray. <laughs> Thor always does a fantastic job with their colors. Look at this, slow rise, privacy blinds, and daytime blinds. Let's take a look at these valances. Denied. Womp, 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 womp. Sorry guys. Andre, why it's don't you busy. like those valances? Too busy. Okay, okay. <laughs> busy, busy, just, just needs to be a solid color in here. Nothing wrong with that. Then right over here, Andre, this is a very good size sofa. And we've been talking about it for the past couple weeks with um how we like three cushion sofas but this is still a three seater you know what i'm saying even though there's two cushions so it's not about the cushion it's about how many it's seats a bigger sofa yes this could easily seat three people now matt is that a jackknife uh it is oh yeah okay Ta -da. And you know, we didn't mention there is the TV right there over the bunk, so that has a swing arm, so it just comes right out. Yes. Now, if you uh, go over this QR code, Andrea, if you guys wanna learn more features about the magnitude, just pause the video and take your cell phone to that. And then above, we do have nice storage all the way Four above. Cabinets. Yes, ma'am. Again, with the slow rise shades. Nice little bit of Art Deco right there. Mm, no. This table does drop down to make a bed. You got your cup holders, your wireless chargers there. Oh, yay, storage. Storage underneath the dinette. See, that's all we want. Yes, not only that, to wrap it up, there is a car seat tether right there. And over here, we got a little bit more storage. And then here's your controls for your auto leveling. How about that, huh? How you doing? And then, how, hey, how you doing? <laughs> And then to wrap it all up, here's your, all your controls, air conditioning and everything. Andrea, show us this kitchen. All right, over here we have a cabinets with adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. I like that they gave you a window here with a shade. Yeah. Solid surface countertop, very pretty. Looks like it's gonna be a double sink. Okay. Okay, double sink. Very nice. And uh, an extension. And I think there's some drawers right there if you back up. Oh, yeah. there you go. We've got sponges and soft clothes. Soft clothes. Very I nice. love that. Oh, hey, finally. that's a $104 trash can. It's about time. How many reviews have we done and we have not seen a trash can I haven't yet. seen very many. All right. We got a convection microwave. Yes. We've got a tower of power over here. <laughs> that's a nice tower of power backsplash all the way around how do you like the I, backsplash i like it yep i think yeah. it's cool we have a two burner propane cooktop a one burner induction cooktop very nice oh love i love it this. love that i do too andrea Look at this. such a good organizer I love that. nothing's rolling around i love that okay pantry's over here very nice pantry wow and now look, it's not an adjustable shelf, but it still kind of works oh, yeah. with, with all those drawers. Right. And then they gave you what? 
four drawers here. Yeah. And these are soft clothes as well. So, I mean, that's great. I think that third one's a different size if you open it. This one? Yep. I don't, I don't think so. I think it's the same size. <laughs> I know, I'm just playing with and you. And now I can't get it to close. Oh no! Oh, there, there you go. All right, we have a GE residential refrigerator that yes, comes off the order. Very oh, nice. I'm just gonna stand here for the rest of the day. Don't you want to stay <laughs> here a little while? And then we've got a, a, a drawer. Oh! I don't Pull. know. I don't know, Matt. No Pull. way. No way. Pull. Oh! Yeah. Oh my goodness. I am Uhtred, son of Uhtred. <laughs> that was hard to get open. Yes. All right, so that wraps up the kitchen. Yes. And then we got this storage here. Nice. Bunks can go up so you can use yes. this closet space. And then they got iPad holders. Connection, USB, yep. coax. Yep, and then a drawer right here. Andre, did you see the episode of Matt's RV Reviews Tobles? A couple weeks ago with me and Jen, we we, we we kept screaming John Cena. It was the funniest thing oh, I've ever seen. I, oh, we got to have a John Cena episode here. Okay, <laughs> that'll be fun. No, I don't think America loved it. I, Aww. Jen and I, at the moment of recording it, thought it was hilarious. Oh, you guys were delirious. Oh, no. Yeah, Pocket no. Door. We were in Cincinnati, and Cincinnati was like, it was, you just get, guys, Human. you just get delirious with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, you definitely can, you know, heat stroke and everything like that. It's, it's hot. It's hot, and you might get forgetful. Stand in that shower, please. Okay, so Matt's favorite because you radius. Know, you don't want to get in it. It's radius shower. Good height in here. Yep. Definitely doable. Um, but it's radius. Yeah. And we have cabinets right here for linens or whatever. Yep. Deep storage, so that's good. And then you've got medicine cabinets in here. Very nice. And then you got your sink. And then more storage over here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, there you go. Uh-oh. It's porcelain. But Andrea, like, how am I supposed to... That is not a prime poop position. I mean, it's just all up in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would have been better angled Matt, more this way. are you way. being a little bit too judgmental? <laughs> have a seat, Andrea. Okay. I thought it looked Pretend okay. to take a You're poop. You're the professional. I am the professional pooper, Andrea. No, no, no. Open the lid. And... Yep. Oh! And you gotta sit on the toilet the way it's angled. Oh, I don't want my dress to get in there with the... Okay. I don't know. Are you telling me that's not a prime poop position? I'm telling you it is. Well then, I like the balances, Andrea. You don't know what you're talking <laughs> okay. about. Okay. Andrea, it's the heat getting to you. Trust me, America. They listen. trust you because you are the professional. You are the one that knows. Give me porcelain or give me that. That's right. Limited edition t-shirts out now. Okay, Andrea. pocket door going into the master. Andrea, king size bed. I love this. Is Look this not awesome? This. They have like little nightstands down here with storage. Matt, you're over there and I'm over Andrea, here. Andrea, I'm over here. What you doing over there? <laughs> no, continue okay. over there. Sorry. All right, so there is one window right there. You have three big cabinets above the bed. Yes. Um. I was gonna say when I first came in here, I didn't think it had a lot of closet storage, but now that I see that it has that over there, I can yeah. understand. Nice headboard, nice pillow yeah. design. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> and okay, storage, got the window there. And then over here. Well, let's see if there's storage there's no, under the There's no storage under the bed. Oh, there's bed. no storage under the bed? Uh -huh. oh, well, <laughs> guess what's over here? This is nice storage and it's prepped for a combo washer and dryer. Very nice so, storage there. That's definitely gonna be your wardrobe. And these don't look like you steps, Andrea. They don't, Matt. Oh, storage behind the TV. But you're missing all the drawers under there. Look which at that. you would need because there's not a lot of closet space. Right. But there Very is how many? Nice. Four, is there six or seven? Four, seven, seven drawers. Seven drawers. All right. Andrea. Four doors and the seven doors. Oh, and did you mention the uh, pocket I doors? I did. Very nice, big and spacious. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this unit. 
three things we don't like about it, and then we will tell you what the sale, well, what this, what the MSRP is. Andrea, what do we do first? Um, let's do three things that we dislike about it. Okay, I have one major one on the outside. Let's teleport. Dislike number one, Andrea, I have to say this wet bay. Nothing's wrong with this wet bay, but it's very simplistic. Um, there's not a lot of action going on here. When it comes to wet bays, there, there are so many more motorhomes that have those better hookup connections and everything. Um, just a lot better than this. So I, I must say I'm pretty disappointed in this. This dislike number one. Great. That is dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two? Oh, man. Talk to okay. me. You, this is, this is tough for me, Matt. I mean. It's not tough for me. I can give you number two and three okay, just like that. Go, Andrea, just... just like that. I can hit it off the top of the head. You go, you do I'm it. I'm like, Thor, you better watch out because I can give you everything that I dislike, even if my pants is unzipped or not. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea, number two is going to be the getting down into the cockpit area. This is always a pain in the butt. My fly was just unzipped, and it was probably because of how I had to maneuver out from the cockpit area. Now, once you're in the cockpit area, it is very comfortable, but climbing and from entering the motorhome part from the cockpit's always a pain in the butt. That's number two. Andrea, do you have a number third? Because I can go again. Yes, you can. TV placement. Don't like it. Don't like it in that big bump over the cab. I much rather had it right over there directly across. Personal opinion. Um, I just feel like this seat, you know, watching that TV is just going to be a pain in the butt. And I just don't like the TV position. And I will say the radius shower. Andrea, that's three things we don't like about this motorhome. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Would you like to go first? Sure. I love, even though I was talking about the bedroom storage, but I have to say, all the storage in here is great. I mean, look at this. You have a bunk model with pantry space, which doesn't happen a lot. Right. So I just love it. Even the bathroom storage. I mean, it's great. I love that. Yeah. Andrea, number two for me, it's going to be the fact that you're getting a king size bed in prep for a combo washer That's dryer. That's a big deal. It's a big deal, guys. We've been in these bunk models kind of all day. It's just the no way. No combos. Yeah. I mean, no preps for washer and dryer. Right. So. So, so to be able to get that in this is freaking awesome. And then number three, Andre, I'm going to say the F600 chassis, okay? What that's giving you is a better, a higher cargo carrying capacity and four by four in a motor home like this. It is freaking awesome and I'm glad Thor went from the 550 to the 600 earlier this year. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motor home here is $279,908, Andrea. MSRP. Sale price, as you guys know, we still can't advertise sale price, but we are working on it. Then it doesn't matter what the sale price is, we will always be able to get you a phenomenal sale price because we never sell at MSRP. All you guys have to do is go to our website, matsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We are going to get you with a member of our team to make sure that you get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the entire industry. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes, hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Thor does read the comments and they do watch the videos, so please leave your feedback. If you haven't gotten one of our t-shirts, make sure you get one, they're limited edition. And a few it's days only left. A few days? Yeah. Okay, so go to our, uh, click our link down below or you can go to our website. I hope you guys are safe and well, thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea, we'll see you next time.